Good afternoon. How are you doing? Uh, I'm Tina. Uh, in this video, we will explain more about uh, GSP. Okay, what kind of uh, elements which we can put in a dot GSP file? Okay, so let's uh, uh, let's go to one note. Oh, let's create another one. <laughs> okay, so here, you know why? Because I made a mistake. Actually, this is my second time record this video and I made a mistake in my last video. So I have to start over. <laughs> but anyway it's it's uh, I, I don't know I don't want to edit the video because kind of take longer time uh, compared with uh, uh, record another one so I prefer just to record again so I also uh, refresh my mind okay so not needed to edit okay so uh, let's let's start uh, last video I mentioned in a GSP okay oh there are two types of data in the GSP static and uh, dynamic right um, <coughs> uh, GSP has uh, two types of data one is uh, static content static content means html because gsp is used as a view which means display the thing in the in the browser as a view okay appearance uh, carry the content you know carry the content which the thing gonna be displayed on the view so normally in a browser we were using html to display to carry the content which also has a cs and a gs which for appearance and others right so gsp is for the view okay so in gsp it's gonna uh, have a static part which is whatever you put in the html like if you have embedded a css style sheet and or embedded a javascript code you can also put it in gsp files okay this is the static part and the second part is the dynamic part dynamic content dynamic content in gsp here has a uh, lots of uh, things which you can actually put okay also sometimes you will heard about gsp element this dynamic part is a part of the GSP specific job Jakarta e specification okay because this is kind of like a rules okay uh, you, you do the, you write uh, some piece of code or information using this syntax and the web container will know how to uh, translate how to uh, execute this piece of dynamic content okay and here let's talk about it one by one first one we will talk about is a declaration uh, here in this video I just briefly explain because uh, uh, later on I will have videos to explain each of them one by one okay because uh, in order to understand those dynamic content generated uh, dynamic content you we have to understand the GSP life cycle a little bit in order to fully understand it so here I just uh, give you a brief uh, or brief idea okay what kind of things will be uh, in GSP okay declaration of the syntax is like this like uh, suppose I have using this one as an example okay semicolon and this will declare a um, instance variable and uh, a meth you can also declare a method because eventually a, a, a GSP is a file and extension is .gsp okay 
like uh, suppose you have index.js eventually this JSP file will become a Java class okay Java and it actually is a servlet eventually so it's a class it's a class so it has instance variable and it has a method okay so if you put it like this it's gonna be, become an instance variable and you can also have a method declared here so this is a declaration okay just take a look at okay later on I will explain one by one don't worry next one is a scribble it the syntax is like this doesn't have uh, this uh, exclamation and you can also have this one this is gonna become a local uh, uh, it's gonna become a statement a local variable okay the count will become a local variable which is gonna be a statement under a method called the GSP service method okay you, you are no more just um, take okay I'll continue. I don't know what should I say. You can have an uh, expression. This one, the syntax is like this. Equals. Okay. Don't have this semicolon because this statement eventually, when it transfer into a uh, server, it's gonna become like this. I'll data print line count. So you cannot add a semicolon. You cannot add a semicolon here. Okay. Can we see? Okay. You cannot add a semicolon here because if you add, it's gonna become here. It's gonna have a compiler error. It's an expression. And the fourth is uh, uh, the 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 directive. The, uh, directive. Let me spell well. Okay. Directive. Directive the syntax uh, like this. What oh, call? Sorry. <laughs> like this. Oh, uh, I hope no Chinese guys watch my video. Uh, no, not a lot of Chinese watch my video because they say I have uh, some. I, I, I want one day I see a. Uh, uh comment say my accent my english accent is very strong okay yeah the, indeed it's very strong because uh, <coughs> uh, when people uh listen my uh, voice they will immediately know i'm uh, chinese okay that's make me unique right <laughs> uh page and uh, include and tag lib And uh, I have no way to change my accent. I cannot be as fluent as uh, native uh, speaker anymore because my tongue doesn't uh, pro cannot pro pronounce uh, English like uh, native speakers. Okay. Anyway, I'm kind of like a happy. At least you guys can un can un understand I'm speaking English. <laughs> Okay, so directive, the syntax is like this way to include uh, uh, another GSP which can be used for, uh, uh, which can be used for like layout, a uh, page can be used to, to enable your expression or not, tag lib it is to uh, include as a tag library, okay, like we will talk later more, okay, uh, ER expression. And the expression is used to syntax like is like this, and here we can add a count, and it will look at the attribute in page scope, then to request scope, then to session scope, then to application context scope. Okay, this this one is equals to this one, but it's shorter. Okay, and. Uh, we prefer your expression uh, over the expression and six is action okay gsp action your syntax is this one gsp like include and others okay 
sorry, 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 sorry. This and this one, this include is at the, happened at the runtime include then you have e right, and this include happened at uh, compiler time. Okay. Okay. Include and uh, there's another like a C uh, for each. Like uh, this is uh, E L G S T L. Can we see? Okay, let's grab. This is a GSTL and we will have uh, at least one or several videos about uh, this GSTL part action. And the last one is uh, GSP comment. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I have to reverse the order. Okay. Like this. And GSP comment, which means the web container won't uh, process uh, this piece of information you put here. You, you we know the uh, <coughs> HTML also has a comment, right? HTML comment is like this, right? This is uh, they are different, okay? They are different. This is GSP comment because wh whatever the HTML you have, uh, eventually this piece of information will be put in the out dot print line. Even it's HTML comment, it also will be put in here when it turns into a servlet. But uh, but uh, HTML comment just uh, the browser doesn't uh, do anything on the comment. And a GSP comment, uh, this syntax is used for uh, web container. Web container will ignore what what kind of whatever statement in this comment. Okay, and the HTML comment is for the browser. Okay, so. Uh, I think I already explained, uh, briefly ex covered uh, the static content and the dynamic content. So here I have a seven, okay? And don't worry if you if you don't understand now, uh, we will explain uh, all of them in future videos, okay? So that's it for this video and uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. If you like my video, please click like. Thank you. Bye-bye.